My name is Franz Ulm. I'm uh, the George McCumber Professor of S uh, Civil and Environmental Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. My research focuses on three related areas, uh, which all have one common denominator, uh, which is the dirty physics of uh, materials and systems. One is on concrete, a second one on uh, gas shale, and a third one on urban physics, cities. So concrete is uh, the material the most produced on planet Earth. Each person on planet Earth consumes roughly one cube yard of concrete per year. While this material is everywhere, it, uh, this excessive use comes at an ecological price. So our research actually aims at reducing the environmental footprint of concrete in its various uh, forms starting at the smallest possible scale. So what we do in essence in our labs and our simulations is to go down to the fundamental scale of electrons and atoms to modify at that scale the fundamental behavior of the concrete, uh, reduce its environmental footprint and propagate this new understanding from molecular scale all the way up to infrastructure application in pavements, bridges, buildings, etc. So one key question which is asked today is how we uh, can create a sustainable infrastructure system, including pavement, uh, bridges, and so on. And one fundamental uh, aspect herein is to account for fuel consumption in excess of what we have in what, what our cars normally would produce. So what we have been looking at uh, is uh, a phenomenon uh, which uh, relates to the fact that when we drive along a pavement, we never actually uh, in a basement of a deflection, but actually we're always on a slight slope, very similar to someone walking on a beach, uh, overcoming the pressure in front of him or her uh, walking along the beach. And uh, that excess fuel consumption <coughs> can amount to up to 3% of uh, our national fuel consumption used in vehicles on our na nation's uh, uh, infrastructure system. So our overall goal is to implement these type of models in the management uh, systems uh, of our states, uh, in our communities, to reduce our environmental footprint uh, in transportation, in the way how we commute, uh, in our mobility. One aspect of our work has been focusing on developing a new scientific basis for the engineering of concrete. Uh, what we do here is we go down to the smallest scale possible, where calcium, silica and water form what is called the cement hydrates, which is at the molecular scale, the backbone of our infrastructure. What we do at that scale is to modify molecular and atomic positions of the different elements in order to enhance the strength, the fracture resistance and the durability of these materials. As we gain this information, importing concepts of glass physics uh, and other uh, fundamental molecular science into this dirty world of concrete, we are actually able to enhance the properties of concrete. For instance, able to create a concrete which has twice as high a strength as our normal uh, concrete currently available on the market. So ultimately what we produce here is a material where you will use less for higher performance. So everything goes towards performance of materials. 